Well, old Sean Big No Strickland, he's at it again. Um, you know, this time he's taking shots at Ronda Rousey and her depression. Uh, you know what? I'm not one of those people, man, that I don't, it don't matter what you said or what you've done. If a mofo is depressed, <laughs> they depressed, okay? If a mofo is depressed, they depressed. I mean, it's just what it is. Like, I, I don't know. I felt like Sean Strickland was trying to, you know, like just say like, well, you know, Rhonda, you know, she couldn't be depressed. She gives depression a bad name. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, he said that dumb shit. How can somebody give depression a bad name? Either you're depressed or you're not. Okay, and, you know, uh, since when is Sean Strickland the author of what a depressed person is supposed to be and who can be depressed? Like, dude, are you, are you serious? Like, 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 you really going to sit here and actually go back and forth and say who can be depressed and who can't? Now, Sean Strickland, you know, he said some things. He came out against coaches. Um, and he was talking about the coaches that are having relationships with these teenage girls. Or he was talking about how they groom these girls as teenagers and then they end up dating them. And, uh, you know, there, you know, is there some truth to what he's saying? I'm pretty sure because Sean has probably seen a lot of people and been in a lot of gyms behind the scenes. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he's seen a lot. He's seen a lot. Uh, but, you know, the man has made comments like that. He's made racial comments. So... Sean Strickland is all over the place. I mean, now he talked, he said Pat Berry, called Pat Berry a pedophile. He called Jim West a pedophile. It basically, he's calling any coach, okay, any coach that, you know, they they start training these girls as teenagers and then, or, you know, teenagers or they're, they're underage adults, they start training them and then they end up having a relationship with. That's who he called out, you know. And I'm pretty sure that he probably, that's probably some truth to it. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but he called out Ronda Rousey in depression, you know. And he was saying that Ronda is a bad example of depression. Well, I can tell you what. If Ronda Rousey is a bad example of depression, I mean, I'd be damned because this was one depressed woman, okay. It was all over her face. Even when she was doing her HBO special, um, you know, I think uh, somebody leaked like a photograph of Ronda Rousey. Somebody leaked a photograph that, you know, it was showing part of Ronda Rousey boobs. And, you know, she was upset. You know, the woman was talking about, like, like really just not showing her face again in public. And, I mean, she was depressed. Depressed. And Ronda Rousey had mentioned suicide before, even before she even lost the belt to Holly Holm. But, see, her getting kicked in the head and knocked unconscious by Holly Holm, that was the icing on the cake. See, you can't really hide. You just can't hide who you are. You can't. You can't hide who you are. A depressed person, they'll give off telltale signs. Okay. A depressed person will give you telltale signs. They'll give them to you. Number one, a depressed person, those who are real depressed, they'll come off as confidence, but it'll seem like they're cocky. It'll, it'll seem like they're real, real cocky. And, you know, they'll try to tell you that it's confidence, but they have to do that. They have to do that because they have to tell themselves every day that they're not depressed. So they have to come out. They have to say things and do things and you know, and, and, and just try to be bigger than they already are. Like, Ronda Rousey used to talk so much trash, man. And it used to be kind of like, damn, you know, is, is this for the camera or what? Because, you know, she would say some stuff like, you know, you line these bees up and I'll take them all out. Line these bees up. I'll take all of them out. You know, just line. Keep putting them in here with me. Keep putting them in here with me. I'll do this. And then she said something, man. I forgot. Uh, she said something like... Uh, I want to rip this B arm off. I want to break her arm off. Oh, she told me she take she gonna break her arm and end her career. Just like, just kind of crazy stuff. And then you know, hey, when uh, Misha Tate was tapping out, when Misha was tapping out, Ronda Rousey would not let the arm bar go. I mean, it was crazy, man. She was really legit trying to get Misha Tate up out of there. But that's right. That's stuff that a depressed person do, man. You know, they have emotional swings. Like, all of this stuff Ronda Rousey was doing and people couldn't see the telltale signs. I was telling people for years, I said, look, man, if Ronda Rousey get beat, I said, man, you know, she, this girl going to want to commit suicide. And Kayla Hype Job Harrison got the same personality. If Kayla get beat, I'm going to tell you right now, Kayla is going to be missing for a long time. Kayla going to be missing for a long time. Because at first with Kayla and Ronda they couldn't they couldn't take the defeat like it, it to them they never got defeated in their mind they still was a champ like ronda was still trying to command you know be a boss 
and you don't got your damn head kicked off into the damn stands. I mean, Holly Holm kicked your head into the front row and put it on Dana White lap and said, here, here you go. That's what happened to Ronda Rousey. But Sean Strickland, you know, you can't tell a mofo, like, if they depress and how they can be depressed. What the hell is this, man? So now we're criticizing people because they were depressed. I mean, is, is, is this what we're doing? I mean, Sean, I mean, Sean Strickland, you got a bout with Jared Cannonier. Don't you think you need to be worried about Jared Cannonier whooping your ass? Because that's, that's what's about to happen. You about to get your ass whooped by Jared Cannonier. Like, don't you think you got to prepare for that ass whooping? Because it's coming. I mean, man, you got time to do this stuff. You got time to be a social media and stir up a controversy. Bruh, bruh, get in there and go deal with what Jared Cannonier finna do to you. Okay, that's what you do. Deal with what Jared Cannonier is about to do to you. Because Jared Cannonier finna, finna beat you into a bloody pole. He finna beat, you know, the man mad. Because he ain't winning the belt. Oh, he pissed off, man. This man got to blow some steam off. And it's coming right at you. And it's not like Sean Strickland is the best fighter out there, you know. It's not like he's the best fighter. You know, dude, he got something to say about everybody. When you going to win a major fight, Sean Strickland? Like, when are you going to win a fight? A fight against a well tough, a really tough top opponent. When are you going to do that? Just all you do is run your damn mouth, bro. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You know, and people, man, I made a video about him before. Man, you, man, you wouldn't say it. You wouldn't say it to Sean Face. Look, people like Sean Strickland, okay, and Conor McGregor and all these MMA fighters that they think they can go out in public and just put their hands on people, man. I'm one of those ones, I'll be the last motherfucker you touch because I, in the streets, I don't play. I don't play. In the streets, I don't play, okay? We every bit as strapped in the streets. Ain't nobody playing with these guys. I ain't finna let Conor McGregor or, or, or Sean Strickland or, or Mike Perry, you know, punk me. They ain't finna do that. They finna get dealt with. They gonna get dealt with. But see, them guys, they know who to mess with. They know who to try to assert their dominance on. And then they know who they can't do that to. I don't care. You can't kick a bullet. <laughs> you can't kick that. And one of these gay days, these guys, they're going to they gonna start some stuff. They're going to pop some stuff off. And somebody's going to pop them. And I'm talking about really pop them. That's what somebody's going to do to them. The thing of it is, man, you can't tell a mofo when they're depressed. You can't tell them how to be depressed. And, and like, like there are forms of depression worse than others. Well, if the mofo depressed, damn it, she depressed. If she depressed, she depressed. If Ronda Rousey is depressed, she depressed. It don't matter who it is. Depression can hit everybody. I mean, now, he did. Now, I do agree with Sean Strickland. Like, depression is rough. You know, he said it was like cancer. You know, it's, it's rough because you dwell on it. And I, and I agree with him on that. But damn, man. Deal with Jared Cannonier Can 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 because you finna be depressed when Jared Cannonier knock your ass out. I mean, you can tell Sean Strickland, man. This guy probably done dealt with a lot of depression in his life, man. And he probably still dealing with it right now, man. He probably still dealing with it right now. This dude, he don't even know how to function. Can you imagine Sean Strickland when he's done fighting? Do y'all really think this guy's gonna be able to function in society? I mean, do you guys believe that? Do y'all think that this guy's going to be able to function in society when he can no longer fight? I don't think this guy's going to be able to do it. I think this guy's going to be in trouble. He's going to be like the Mayhem Miller. He, he gonna, he's going to be the Mayhem Miller in this era. Okay? He's going to do the same dumb stuff that Mayhem Miller doing. That's what he's going to do. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm not a huge Sean Webb. I know I'm not a fan of him because he races. But these are one of these guys that no matter how many times they get beat up, it don't matter. No matter how many fights they lose, how many times they get knocked out, it don't matter. Because they still think that they can talk about you when they ain't doing a damn thing. 